welcome to Motion Ranch. Today we have mail. I think I know what this is. It is a Barrett 50 cal. It says Demotion Ranch in the middle of it. Look at the Picatinny rail. The trigger, look at the mag release. Dog and a cat, Vet Ranch. Very cool. Another Vet Ranch. Got my logo there. Super cool. I don't know that Tim was looking for a plug or not, but the guy who made these has a YouTube channel and I'll put it in the description below. So thank you, Tim. I think these are awesome. We should go shoot something now. Hey, so today what we're gonna be doing is testing the difference between smooth bore barrels and rifled barrels. For those who don't know, generally speaking, there's two kinds of barrels, smooth and rifled. Smooth bore is what you normally find in shotguns. It's made for shooting buckshot and birdshot. Rifled barrels are normally what you find in pistols and rifles. It's made to spin the bullet as it goes down. For those who don't know about rifling, um, basically it's kind of like if you throw a football, an American football, um, you want to spiral that football because it makes it fly true instead of flopping end over end. If you just tried to throw that football without spiraling it, it wouldn't go exactly where you wanted it to go. So it's the same thing with bullets. And out of a pistol or a rifle, if you fired it out of a smooth bore barrel, it would just tumble end over end. But you get it spinning, spiraling, and it goes true. It's more precise, more accurate. This is a rifled barrel. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but you should be able to see that there are grooves spinning down the length of that barrel. So what I have is a steel target that's set up probably about 75-ish yards, and I'm gonna be shooting these shotgun slugs at it. These things, high brass, one ounce slugs, they will uh, do some damage on the old shoulder. So I'm gonna shoot five out of a smooth bore barrel and then we'll put the rifled barrel in there and compare and see if our group gets tighter. My shoulder hurts just looking at these rounds. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a long day and I killed my target. I'm gonna adjust it so it won't fall over. Hi. We have one, two, three, four, and one outlier down here making five. So pretty good group here. One flew down a little low there, but definitely all hit within a foot of each other. And you need to think these are with no scope on that smooth bore. So say you put a smooth bore, I mean say you put a scope on that smooth bore barrel you probably could tighten that group up quite a bit. Have the rifled barrel on now. This is not fun at all. Let's see what we did. Here's our group, one, two, three, four, five, at about uh, an eight inch spread between those two on the outside. So the purpose of this video is to show you that Rifle barrels are kind of stupid. Not really, but I was able to prove that at 75 yards, I can shoot out of arguably one of the worst shotgun barrel setups ever. This is a short one. This is 18 inches, which is the shortest possible length that you can have by law. It um, has no rifling. It's smooth bore. I don't know if you can see that, which means that the, the projectile is not spiraling and it's not gonna be flying necessarily true. It could have been tumbling. Um, it also doesn't have any sights or scope besides this bead front sight, which is not known for being very precise. Now there's gonna be some awesome guys who are commenting on this video saying that when I go hunting with shotgun slugs, I shoot at 300 yards and I never miss and you need a rifle barrel for that. And if they really are shooting slugs at 300 yards, I mean, yeah, you would need a rifle barrel for 300 yards because that's a lot further and you need it to be a little more accurate but the majority of people are shooting at 100 yards or less. And if you put a scope on a smoothbore barrel, you can hit anything at 100 yards or less. And it will be very accurate and hardly different from if you had the same setup with a rifled barrel. So, rifled barrels are stupid. 
Just kidding. Sort, sort of. Yeah, a little bit kidding. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. Thanks again to Tim for making that stuff for me. Go check out my second channel. It's called Vet Ranch. I'll put a link in the description below. And it is 10 times cooler than this channel. I promise you that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Contact! <laughs> what about the quad talk? Bobby!